Okay, I have another turbine installation video for you from Diversified Den Tool, and we manufacture the Maxidine AirTech turbines. Our website is handpieceturbine.com, and our phone number is 1 800 950 9431. This video is for the installation of a WH handpiece. This handpiece happens to be a TA96. This will work for any of the WH handpieces, though. Um, this is what you get from us. You get a new turbine, you get two O-rings, two brass washers, and a white Teflon washer. These brass washers and the Teflon washer, we only recommend using if yours are no good. Um, w and H is kind of varied on what they put in there and how they, you know, used it. So we send these along in case you lose one or if uh, one is broken. Otherwise, you don't need to worry about using those. The old O-rings that came out of the handpiece, you can set aside. I'm not going to use those just throw them away actually and they came out of one comes out of a groove in the end cap one comes out of a groove in the head of the handpiece there now this particular handpiece um, is a good example of how I was saying the white Teflon washer is sometimes there this one did not have it it had the two spring washers so we clean those up and we're going to reuse those um, since there was no Teflon washer you can just set that aside no need to use it and I will tell you the order in case your handpiece does have one of those but when you go to install the turbine the first thing you do will make sure the heads cleaned out and the end caps clean out put the one spring washer down in the head of the handpiece and so it sits all the way flush on the bottom there and then you're going to take one of the new o-rings I'm going to just move it to the side so I can put it in there a little easier and then you're going to next put in the o-ring in this handpiece now if you had the white Teflon washer the order would be the spring washer would go in first, then the Teflon washer would go on top of the spring washer, and then the O-ring would go in last, and it helps hold all that in. And on that Teflon washer, if it's a factory one, it's going to have a little relief area, um, like a depression, a groove almost, and that goes up towards the turbine, so it would face this bearing right here on the turbine. Um, now that that O-ring's in, what we'll do is we'll take the new turbine, we will put it into the head of the handpiece and you can it can use a little gentle rocking and it'll seat in there all the way so that you can just set there now the end cap the same thing um, you want to make sure it's cleaned out make sure that the uh, the spring washer is nice and clean put that in first and then put the o-ring in to capture it just like that kinda make sure it's all centered up in there then you can just hold it like so Put the end cap over that rear bearing and be careful not to cross thread this as you start it. Go ahead and snug it down and then if you have a wrench, it might look different than this, but a wrench of some time to tighten the end cap up. Then you can go ahead and snap it on the coupler and make sure the test burr spins freely just by hand so you know nothing's binding then go ahead and push your rheostat and it should take off just like new and just since these are a little you know there's a few little things to them like those um, Teflon washers and spring washers you can always call us for assistance or advice and um, we can walk you right through the process and like I said I'll just go through the order one more time on these so when you're installing the turbine it would go spring washer white Teflon washer if you have it, then O-ring in the head of the handpiece, put the turbine in the head, then in the end cap you'll put in the spring washer first, then the O-ring, then the end cap back on, and you're ready to run. Um, once again, you have any questions, 1-800-950-9431 or handpieceturbine.com. Thank you.